Ah, that hasn't changed. Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. You know what I just realized? What's that? We are one word away from this being Great Bay Temple and everybody having a headache. That's true. We are in the Great Temple, after all. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Oh, this looks kind of nice. Very hubby. That. that looks... Well, this looks kind of... Dun 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 well, That's a heck of a way to start the episode. Oh! Let's just let's just have a boss fight right off the uh, bat. Let's wait, do it. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, this is Oh, it's Goma. Might as well be. That's Oh no. It's Dark Goma. Oh. Oh, they're turning evil. Anyway, these beautiful things are called Alpha Splinters. Oh, they're the first ones? They're the splinters that have taken on that... Well, yeah. Oh, the okay, dark okay, well, splinters. Well, okay, they're, they're, they're dark splinters. Yeah. Them. I understand. So, it's the alpha splinters that got taken over by the darkness. Well, you see, I I, I, um, I, I made a mistake. These aren't alpha splinters. These are just regular splinters. Oh, okay. They're regular splinters that got the Simba. Now they're dark splinters. Okay, so you're jumping ahead a little bit. I mean, yeah, you're jumping ahead a little skipping bit. Skipping a chapter in the narrative there, but yeah, just, just, really just, just a little that? bit. That guy. Oh, that's the Alpha Splinter. Hi, Alpha Splinter. Scan him right away. Scan him right away. Just say it again. Scan him right away. Before the one shot kill. Check it. it. Okay. Uh, right here. One shot kill. Bam. Yeah, just a bunch of jumping around, being a bad, being a bad old boy. Showing you how to strafe and dash. I'm not showing it off here very well. It even does like the kitten pounce. Like, like, like ah. getting the booty ready. It's about to jump. It, he just kind of stands there in the middle. I'm not doing the strafe right. That's my bad. The, oh, yeah, there it is. And then here we go. Uh, it, yeah, I see, I see you're preparing. Yep. And... It transforms into a dark, dark alpha, alpha splinter. splinter. Oh, I see. Our first boss of the game. So this is just, hey, we have a bunch of enemies and we need double the enemy types. Why don't we just throw dark in there? Kind of makes sense, I mean. At least it changes the attack patterns. That's very helpful. Makes them more attack, uh, more attack, more defense, more yeah. speed, just stronger all around, evil bad stuff, but hey... They didn't count on Chozo technology. <laughs> How could they have seen it? Nobody counts on Chozo technology. Nobody. And that seems to be the like the the crutch that Samus leans on. And thank God the all these birds just thought, you know what? Why don't we make some fucking awesome technology and make it so that nobody knows our secrets? Well, it's because they're smart and you know one with the the universe and all that yeah. shit. Very wise old birds. Anything more to say? Dog. Uh, oh, it's life force. Oh, that's a. Uh, it's not one of our things, but it's a thing. Hi. What is this thing? Oh, you're looking into the surface of the sun. Unknown technology. Grab mm. it. Grab it. That's grab it. That sounds like some zero mission stuff. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? Oh, it's Navi. I get it. Yeah. Hello. God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what in the world was that? And now you just have that in your brain forever. Listen! No, please! Unknown item acquired. Um... Alien technology has bonded to armor systems. No negative impact on suit performance. That's good. I, I think what just happened is that we just accepted Ether's cookies. <laughs> that's, that's essentially what happened. We... Uh we, we, we hit OK to allow third-party software to be downloaded to our system. I just... Okay. I thought you were talking, like, actual cookies. No. And then I was like, oh, yeah, computers! <laughs> oh, computer cookies! Oh! <laughs> hey, did you read the licensing agreement at the, at the very least? I don't have time for that. Yeah, just, 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 just scroll through. I agree, agree. whatever, fine. <laughs> I just did that the other day. <laughs> it's just... do, do you accept the user agreement? Well, duh, obviously. Our, okay. Now it's Ooh. time to get some lore. Time to get some context. Time to figure out why we're really here. I'm down for it. Oh, hi. Do not be afraid. I am Umos, Sentinel of the Luminoth. Please listen and hear our hear of our world's peril. Is he speaking English? Maybe you know, translated more English. Long ago, a cosmic object fell to our planet, Ether, exploding with great force. A rift was torn in time and space, and a strange power flowed from there. 
Where once there was eth one, one ether, there were now two. One of light and one of shadow, each existing in its own dimension. Oh my god. It was the end of peace on ether, for a new race was born that day in the dark world. One filled with hate and terrible power. They are the Ing. The Ing mm. are creatures of shadow and darkness, knowing nothing of peace or mercy. Gross. Or roast beef. For decades we stood against them, yet we now lie on the verge of defeat. Ugh. When Dark Ether was born, our planetary energy was divided. Half oh. for our world and half for theirs. Oh my. Yeah. Should one world gain control of this energy, the other will perish. So guess who's winning? Oh, so we need to close the Dark World. Before you arrived, the Ing had stolen a device from us, one that collects planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. So we picked up planet energy. Fortune <laughs> smiled upon you. us this day, for the energy <laughs> transfer module is now bonded to you. You. You are now the planet's only fucking hope. Congratulations. Me? You're our only hope, Samus. How do you know my name? Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> Should we fall, the Ing would look to the stars for new planets to ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. So, Especially seeing as how they got a ship that tells us exactly where we are! Yeah, uh, eliminate the threat before it comes and attacks us later. So there are three temples. I, I guess you can count it as three levels to this game. Okay. Three temples, each having three keys. These three keys open up the temple so we can change the planetary energy to have it flow from Dark Aether into us, so that way Dark Aether loses energy, and we gain that energy, and then they're saved, and the Ing are gone, and I think Dark Samus is doing some bad stuff to this. Most likely, yes. Yeah. Most likely, yes. I mean, you, you just can't... Leave that girl alone and she'll, like, kick a puppy when there isn't a puppy. The, the, she will make a puppy out of out of Phazon... And then kick and it. And then kick it! What a bitch! Anyway, good job. So... Yeah, uh, that's basically what we got going on. Uh, we gotta basically help Umos here, get the energy back. Yeah. Oh, you can press A to talk to him. Oh, I thought he was like bowing to you. It's like, please help. Uh, indigenous sentinel species of Aluminoth. Aluminoth. That's why he looks like a moth. Yes. Oh my god. Sentinel of the Luminoth, guardian of his species, and yeah, okay. So Umos Sentinel of the Luminoth scans indicate numerous beneficial abilities, including height and reflexes, Ooh. durability, psionics, and flight. But it generates and manipulate energy on par with that of the Chozo. Ooh. So he's about 2.1 centicycle. 2.15 centicycles old. Only known active hmm. member of the species, remaining Luminoth locked in protective stasis until crisis is resolved. Oh, so he locked his people away. So not everybody is dead. They're just they're just being they're they're just sleeping until we come and fix this thing. And he gave us uh some translation power with that with that uh planetary energy module that we got. Nice. We can now read violet holograms. Read them and unlock them. This is basically our lore. Oh, okay. The Chozo lore is now replaced with Luminoth lore. Learning about a new life cycle of a different creature. This is cool. Although it still mentions the Chozo, so are they just like, they're just like long lost brothers or, you know, probably the you know pretty pretty close in evolutionary lines or maybe they're just cool with it. Yeah, you know, uh, just, just like cool with one another. No, uh, nomadic space uh, peoples capable of creating great technology and of great power, but, you know, are not very, you know, militaristic in their nature, so... What if they, like, swap secrets? Or yeah. maybe, like, swap blueprints? Well, it does explain... I mean, it would explain how a lot of their technology kind of, you know, gels with me pretty good. Cool. You know, with my, my Chozo suits, you know, that kind of takes all their stuff, so... You know, I, I would imagine that they probably, you know, were Facebook friends, you know. <laughs> so, so we're basically like, these are the godparents of, of her Chozo ancestors. I wouldn't be surprised if Umos and Quiet Beak were friends. That'd be cool. Right, so, yeah. let me give some of that hot, sexy lore right here. So, Aegon. Aegon is the first place we're going to. Ooh. Yep. Ah, 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 ah. These are light flyers. They're basically energy, and they hurt, and they suck. They're just pure energy made out of flying saucers. Yeah, well, charge well, me. How about this? Yeah. Yeah, charge that. There you go. Yeah. yeah. What's up? <laughs> Got him. Got him! These are like little mini multiverses that you're destroying. 
Okay. So far so good. Sounds uh, pretty oh, cool. This is an elevator. Elevator back online. Get out of here. Go to Aegon. Meow. All right. So now I would say the game has now officially begun. It's kind of a lot quicker than the first Metroid Prime. I mean, we spent one episode losing all our shit, and then we started, you know, going on ground level. So I'd say this has picked up tremendously. Yep. By comparison. So we are heading to a new area, basically. And uh, each of these elevators attached to the Great Temple take you to a new area that takes you to the new area. Nice. So nice. this is what I would say the uh, this is the eastern portion of the temple grounds. Oh, hello! Oh, there's more of these guys showed up. That's very nice of them. And there's Dark Energy, too! Oh, oh of goody! So Dark Energy is just gonna be, you know, chilling in the background, right? Basically, but what you can do is you can try and kill them all before they before change. Before the Dark Energy shows up. But, Interesting! But sometimes you're not that lucky. Oh, that's alright. And they make it anyway. It's fine, my dude. Die, 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 die. You fucking oh, die! I missed another one. Ah, there. Got him. And there. Full charge shot seems to kill him. Nice. I think it charges faster, too. It feels like it, yeah. It just feels nice. This is just, just good. <laughs> it also just seems like you're wrecking the entire place. Ah, here we go. First E tank of the game. Our first E tank. Now. In terms of totals, <clears throat> oh boy, we have energy tanks of which there are fourteen. Uh oh, that's not too bad. We have missile upgrades of which there are forty-nine. Forty-nine missiles, okay. We have uh, power bombs of which there are eight. Okay. We have beam upgrades of which there are four, and we have uh, translation, I guess, stuff of which we have one. Let's see, 40, you said 49 missile upgrades? Yes. Times 5 a pop, that's about, let's see. Not including the one that we just got. So, call it 50 missiles, 250 missiles. Oh, okay. So, yeah, 250. Beyond the store with the path, the Aegon Waste Sly. Once fertile plains, now sand scorched and ruined by war. Hmm, tragic. Which war did they fight? Oh, this guy don't look like this guy don't look so good. Excuse me, sir. What war did you fight? That's oh, that's Jafme. Dude, the that's F is silent. silent. Final entry: Warrior Jafme. Their army swells. Beasts and rogue machines join their horde, all eager to bring death to the Luminoth. The Ing sent these new additions to the industrial site to do battle with me, while they watched from safety. Cowardly mongrels! My only regret is in death is that I did not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. Well, mm. hey, I'm here. It's gonna be sooner rather than later to rust me. See, now I'm just imagining. You, you seal away, let's say a giant cataclysm happens to Earth. Sure. We lock away the most important people and also us are there. Uh-huh, yeah. And they say, once this has been dealt with, we'll wake you all up. How about it? Sure. It's kind of like a Wally situation. Like, we we eventually be gone, are gone so long that First it doesn't missile actually... Upgrade. Oh, nice. That, uh, you know, it's like, oh, wow, the the issue must have been solved. How long has it been? 7,000 years. Oh. Like, at that point, do you even want to wake up? Well, I mean, would you rather die at the hand of this terrible uh, disease, or...? Absolutely not. Our search for a home took us through the cosmos. For many a great cycle we roamed, yet a place to call our own eluded us. Hmm. In time, we began to despair, feeling the search was in vain. We considered remaining among the stars until a scout returned with news of a world unlike any other. When we beheld Aether for the first time, so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever to live upon her <laughs> surface. From that day forth, the Luminoth were of Aether, our blessed paradise. Hey, what's up, Aether? What are you doing later? So I guess that's the difference between the, the Chozo and the, uh, the Luminoth. The Chozo are far more nomadic, I think, because you never know there might be tribes out there still to this day. Ooh, sequel beta. <laughs> with, the, with the Luminoth, I think they are specifically 100% all, all in all on Aether. So we gotta save these guys. They're about to be extinct. Can't have that. Well, the Ing are about to be extinct. Heh. <laughs> hey, did, did anybody of the Ing hear that? You're going down. The, oh, that guy heard it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> ah! Oh, God! Get him off! Get him off! <laughs> oh, God, the dark splitter, hell. 
Every time, you know, every time one of those dark portals shows up, it's like a, a uh, microphone directly into the dark world. <laughs> so one of them shows up, it's just like, yeah, you, coming after you. Got a Lumite here is basically the splinters of this world. So they're not like, ac oh, this world. Okay, I, like, sorry. Like, like, I mean, like the Aegon. Th this area. Aegon. Yeah. 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 Uh, sandstorms, long dead. Yeah, yeah I mean, probably a you know, war came here. Oh, these things shoot energy too. That's great. Uh, we got blade grass here. Oh, sand grass, I mean. No, blade grass exists in our time, and I friggin' hate it. Razor grass. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, this is just sand grass. It's just grass. Oh, good. Have you ever tried to like cut razor grass? No. I made the mistake of grabbing a bundle while trying to cut it. Here's a flyby of the new area we're in. It hurt. The Aegon wastes. Ah. What a shithole. Yeah. That place over there seems promising. Hey, go here. Yep, yeah, I think I will. Alright, let's go. Uh, I can try up here, but now I need the space jump. Oh, what's. Uh, oh, what, hello. What, what are you? A sand digger. Sand digger. Digs in sand. That's what he does. Uh, well, good for you. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, he's 50% predator. <laughs> Yep, so... <laughs> What's uh, the other 50%? You shoot that front, Ew. and then he t he uh, awakens his butt back here. <laughs> and you get both, and then he just kind of explodes. <laughs> it's like the nightmare version of Cat Dog. <laughs> sandworm. Sandworm. The alone in the world is a little sandworm. Oh, there they are. There there. More of these things here. There are plenty of chances Ow. to get them, though. But uh, more importantly, we got to go through here. Ooh. What'd you think? Ah, the make our way, make our way through. Making our way downtown. Making our way upstream. There's a lot of Go. sand. You're getting my mouth. I can't see. Oh, oh, it's getting in all the crevices, yeah. all the cracks in my suit. Ew, Ew. I hate it. Yeah. Take a nice long soak in something other than sand. You came here basically to scan this. The blue root tree. Oh, look at that. It is a highly poisonous plant form. Okay, never mind. Not cute anymore. Highly, po highly, po highly poisonous. This looks kind of blue, and it kind of... Oh god, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, oh god, don't tell me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh god, don't tell me. Not good. That phase on his man's way here, too. Not good. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Space parasites here again. Oh god. Mate, wait. What if that's powering the blue doors? I guess I'll save here, you know, halfway mark, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's been there the entire time, man? Every single blue door is phase on. You can't escape it. It's all there. I'm scared. All right, let's go further. Let's go further. Further in. Sandworm. Sandworm. He blew up my mouth. It's time to fight my butt. Sandworm is my spirit animal. <laughs> all butt and all mouth. <laughs> ass to mouth. What's the difference? <laughs> what about ass and mouth? Oh. I don't want to think about. The... Let's let's move away from that. That's just <laughs> no. Oh, here we go. But <laughs> here's where you can scan those things. Oh, now, they just float around it. You have to float around in a very easy to follow pattern, so you can at least scan enough of them to get a reading. Eh. There you go. Sand bats. Oh, that's that's actually really neat. So you can scan it in segments. I didn't notice that. There might be a cooldown period though, but maybe. But it was the only way you were going to be able to scan these guys. Well, there you go. We got him. It's a, that's an orange translation door. We can't do anything with that yet. I give you the power to read, but only the purple stuff. Just purple stuff. We can read the purple words. Can't read the orange words. The orange words are too dirty. Don't be reading my orange documents. <laughs> Don't be doing that. That's why I hid them under my mattress so nobody would find them. Those things do hurt, and they can't push you off. I would love if one of them just passed by and went, Hey! <laughs> What's up? Ooh. That looks promising. It can't does. get in there, though, because you don't have to bomb. Somebody took it from us. Well, boy, howdy. I think we might just find the bomb here soon. Either I, that or I space think we'll jump. find something here soon. Oh, God damn it! It's the fucking space pirates! And they're a little pissed since uh, Metroid Prime 1. What did we do in Metroid Prime 1? So check I mean, it. Come on. Check it. 
Aggressive, well armed by a four. Okay, let's let's let's, let's find let's find out more enemies. about that. Space pirates suffered a serious defeat at Talon Four. <clears throat> Yet they're still a powerful force. And, you know, yeah, technology, technology continues, continues to advance. Yeah. Even the lowly trooper has received numerous upgrades to his arsenal. A photonic power side and quantum assault cannon are standard issue. Standard issue. <laughs> You're telling me that between games they got stronger? Nice. And well, how, that's how, a little too bad for you guys because now you're kind of easier to kill still. Because hey. my charge beam got super powered. Look, they're trying, okay? At least they made an effort to upgrade. See, I did this thing where I take all my uh, my, my missile packs that I got from uh, Metroid Prime 1. I uh, boiled them all down and uh, took the energy to power my charge beam, and now I can destroy anything. And so, that's why you only started with five missiles. So while they desperately had to upgrade their equipment to to, to try to you know, <laughs> yeah. it, they're they're still nowhere near my <laughs> level. <laughs> that was phase on. That was phase on. No oh dear. Get a little uh, upgrade here real quick. Bang. The way forward is through here, but we don't want to go through there yet. There's a Luminoff guy oh. here, and do you see the? You see what's behind him? Hmm. Portable rockets. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you guys had a time here, didn't you? So, you can just... It wasn't a good time. Come up here. Come up, come up here. here. And then just drop down? You can just drop right down here. Doink! There's that missile pack. It's our second missile extent expansion. Boop. I thought it was the third. Second? How many missiles do you have? Oh, 15. I mean, if, if you count getting the missile launcher as a first missile expansion. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's an expansion. You're expanding the missile launcher. Oh, missile DLC. $5 per missile pack? Hell yeah. Duh. You gotta hate it. Some more orange lore of the lewd stuff. Getting out of there. So what if there was like a comedy game, but to get the punchlines, you had to pay? It'd be paid a grin. I don't think I'd like high on life as much as I do if that was the case. More phase on. Well, yeah, there's a lot of phase on showing up in here, and it's not making me happy. It's it's kind of distressing, actually. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh man! What is happening? Oh man! Shriek bats. Yeah, shriek bat. The the. the this is probably the best place to get these guys, because you can scan them pretty good, and they won't uh, launch at you from this as a... Uh, They're also away. just chilling. Yep. And then they can chill in hell. <laughs> yeah, oh, the... Raspberry jam, no! There we go. Mm, this looks a little boss fighty. This seems a little bossy, doesn't it? Yeah. You gonna fight a boss? Well, uh... Oh, what are you? What the fuck? And cue boss music. <laughs> what the hell? What was the that? hell happened? Okay, this is the Alpha Sand Digger. Oh, okay, cool. Much, much like the Alpha Splinter we saw. And so, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, uh, make it so that he. Yep, I saw that coming. So it's a good thing you scan him immediately. Because, yeah. Yep. Is that gonna happen for every boss? Just about. Ah, damn it. Just about. Okay. So now he turns into the Bomb Guardian! Wait, what? The Bomb Guardian. Oh. So when they stole my Morph Bomb... <gasps> oh, they're reusing! They're reusing oh, it. Oh, no! That dark energy, probably with the help of that goddamn Dark Samus bitch. Oh, that bitch! She, yep, and they're, they're dropping my Morph Bombs everywhere, you see? I don't like it! I don't like it either! I don't like I gotta be at yeah, a specific point to shoot him. Yeah, shoot him. It's glowing. Yeah. Then you shoot him in the mouth. Okay, good fourth of his health. That's pretty good. This is this is uh, my uh, my proof that the charge beam is quite good in this game. The, what? When it hits. This is a very finicky boss where you need to be like you know facing right at it to hit it. Right in the anus. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, <laughs> he said anus. Can't believe. <laughs> that's why. That's why I bring you. I bring you along to push the envelope of comedy, man. I'm pushing the envelope. You know, this is almost M-rated. I'm almost funny. 
he, 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 yep, this is almost M-rated. You're almost T-rated. <laughs> I'm getting there, man. I'm yeah. getting there. Yeah. This is probably where the strafe comes in handy. Yeah, most likely. Fire a missile for good luck. And, and uh, what? Oh, one more, one more. One oh, more. Okay, it. that wasn't a strict one-fourth option there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yep. Okay, even, there though, we go. even though the Dark World thing, not exactly original, I kind of understand why they went this route. I kind of like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, Nintendo games around this era were doing the Light World, Dark World thing. And even some after the era. Well, uh, Metroid doesn't go back into Light World, Dark World again for a while, though. I don't think, I don't think it ever does. It does not. To my knowledge. But now we got the Morph Ball Bomb back. We can now blow shit up. While in a ball. Let's blow shit up. Let's blow shit up. Please? Right. What do they want me to blow up first? Well, first we gotta make it so that way they can, uh, sort of... You know... We need to find the energy controller to the Aegon Wastes in order to activate the energy, so when we find the energy, we can oh. actually send it back to the planet. So, come through here. I didn't think that door was that fragile. Oh, you got, well, yeah, it's teaching you to use the bombs, of course. And here's another way they teach you how to use bombs. You, you all know what this looks like, right? Looks a little bit like a bird. Looks a little bit like a pseudo-loading screen. Come in here, drop a bomb, then a cutscene plays where it just basically <laughs> turns the room. Yep, opens, that's a loading screen. Opens up this area behind here. Good job, guys. You gave a game reason to hide the loading screens. It feels like it's loading a bit faster, too. It might just be mm -hmm. optimizations, advancements in GameCube technology and dev systems. I, I assume it's they needed just enough loading time, because that transition actually wasn't that long. I'd say it's about seven seconds. You see, Retro, they struck me as very capable, very competent devs. Like, I haven't had any problems with their games. And they're especially good at hiding. They are! Things. They are! What's this thing? I, I don't know, but I want it. After we scan this dead dude. 1.5 decacycles. Damage from multiple weapon systems detected. Subject definitely went out fighting. <laughs> well, good for him. That's my guy. And what's this? Luminoth Hall of Projector Online. Automated message initiated. <laughs> oh, it's literally help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Say hello to Aisha! Isha? Sentinel of Aegon Temple. Hmm. So, hey, you're gonna fight the evil black stuff? Well, let me show you how. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. Oh. With it, you can travel to this land's oh. shadow. Oh. We're gonna travel to the Dark World for the first time! Oh, no. We gotta find a Dark Temple where we can find the energy controller. So that can uh, allow us to start sapping the energy from the Aegon Wastes in the Dark World and bring it to the energy controller here in the Light World, and then we can send that energy to the Great Temple and start revitalizing the planet again. But the Temple door in the Dark World is hit by three temples, or by, by three blocks, we gotta find three Temple Keys. They really like the Temple Key thing. So well, I'm just getting... well, it is a way to make sure that you explore the entirety of the, of the map, I'd right. say. Series of light crystals throughout their world, they remain to... Ooh. So, yeah. The atmosphere in the dark world, it, it will constantly take away damage. It will, it will always hurt you. But you have these light crystals that will protect you and even heal you. And that's where the difficulty comes in. Whenever you're in the dark world, you're getting hurt. <laughs> Unless you know where the light crystals are. We're not going to go to the dark world today. But uh, next time, we certainly will. We're going to get our first taste of the dark world. That should be fun. May the light of ether serve you well. So if, before we uh, take our first plunge in the dark world, let's uh, get a few things here first. I'm down. Get you all caked up and ready to fight. Oh, uh, yep, yep. We're, we're, we're set up. I just got to get a few more things. Because for that uh, really difficult boss I mentioned, we're going to need to make sure we get everything. 
You can now read orange uh, holograms, of course. Yeah, oh. Our energy is spiring. Grab a stay. Left and check. The energy would expire. Bringing an end to the world. Our greatest spines devised a way to preserve and regulate the remaining planetary energy. The energy controllers. Oh. It's basically go in the dark world. Get in their dark temple. Reroute the energy back to the light world. And then bring the energy in the light world to the temple. Do that three times. And then do it a secret hidden fourth time. And then the game is over. And we can go home. Hmm. Because I think, I think the imbalance of the light and the dark world, especially with the dark world trying to win, that's what's causing the atmospheric storm. So we can't get distress signals out. We can't escape the, the planet either. Makes sense. I would absolutely love it if we send that beacon and it's just like, oh no, uh, we need help. And then by the time the Federation gets there, it's like, yeah, I'm all done. Just, you know, brush off your armor. It's like, nah, I already took care of everything. <laughs> that's our Samus Aaron. No, no, wait a minute. Where's Bravo team? What do you mean? Oh, that's why I was here. I remember. <laughs> okay, let's, yeah, yeah. B Bravo team was here. And uh, Bravo team. Give them a hand. Yep, yep. Bravo. Bravo for their team. They, yep. they were great opening kills. They Bravo <laughs> team. <laughs> they were a good introduction to the real threat that's on this planet. Good job, guys. I gotta say, when I first saw Dark Trooper, shit my pants. <laughs> Literally shit my pants. <laughs> Rolling down my leg. There I was, freshman in high school, like, oh, God, so scary. Oh, no. But thankfully, they were the opening kills. Totally could handle it. A sophomore, actually. Never mind. God, just imagine being... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Fire. Woo! Ow! Oh, an E-Tank. E-Tank number two! I... Whoops. Yeah. I forgot something. Almost forgot something. Just recognized it. Come on, I'm playing this at home. I need to make sure I don't miss anything. Right, 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 right. There's a, there's a special room here that has something. It's called the Sand Cache. Does it have actual money? Oh, it, it... it's got a payload, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, I like payloads. I have played the Overwatch once. Ah! I don't know what that means. M moving the, the payload. What's it's, the payload? It's, it's actually a cart full of garbage. A cart full of... Like, I, is I, that how you win? I, I, I thought I thought it was like a death match. You just gotta shoot people until it, you, you get you enough can, points. You can, but there's an alternate playstyle. It's just moving the payload. And it's, is, that, is that what that is? I, I think so. It's been a long time God. since I've played it. You're now in sand. Come on, UDJ. Does that count? Let's just let's just get up there, okay? I, I I know you got worried that you that you went against your your guide and you forgot this thing, and it's very important. But just just work with me here, buddy, okay? Yeah, not even your capture likes this. Yeah, yeah, jeez. Oh, really having a hard time. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just get the fucking thing, will ya? <laughs> Alright, here we go. All for the dirty lore! We're here! Oh, wait, no, this is a door. It's just a door. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. Well, good for you! All to get another missile expansion. All of that for missile expansion. Well, <sighs> totally worth it. Missiles, I think, have less <laughs> less point in this game than the last one, hey. especially with all the different weapons we're gonna be, we're gonna end up getting. It's all for the collection. It's all for the collection. Then you you might need missiles mm -hmm. for specific context things, because it seems like your regular blaster is dealing less damage on its own. So missiles might still be a viable solution to some enemies. See, I think your power beam is t is weak on purpose. So you either charge it or shoot a missile because it doesn't take as long. Right. I mean, if I mean, you know how you know how fast I can tap buttons. Yeah. If, if the power beam was was strong to begin with, you know, I could just melt the health of any enemy. <laughs> I was just thinking the entire place just collapses. Either was fertile age world with bountiful fields and oceans, and you know, uh, creatures of general and encounter. We settled in a mountain region at first, in cliffside dwellings. In time, we established settlements in the green forest. Oh, there is green. Yeah, oh like, yes, the Green Forest of Torvis, which is level 2. Also also known as, as it's called in this game, Torvis Bog. Fuck. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna have to fix that too. Well, I mean, I don't know much we can fix the planet, but, you know, we're here for the Aang. We're here to take care of the Aang, that's, that's basically priority one. I mean, we're here for a Bravo team, but, uh, they're... Well, I mean, you know. We now have a different directive. Right, yes, 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 yes. We came here for the map. Or at least, again, part of the map. Oh. Oh. Neat. 
her look of fascination every time she gets a map. Oh. It's almost like she's expecting it to speak. Uh, okay. Still All got right. plenty to do. Yep, still got stuff here, and uh, we're going to be coming back to these places, because at, at the end of the third temple, they're like, Okay, cool. Now go find nine more keys in the game map. <laughs> Only nine. I think I think there's hints like that. That's basically your Chozo artifacts part, I, portion. Yeah, of the game. I was just thinking. Oh, more collections. Awesome. Yeah, more collections. But hey, nine is better than twelve, and uh, traveling through here is a bit better than Metroid Prime One. Well, that was certainly a lot to to, to go through. <laughs> Good start to the game. I'd say so. Next time on Metroid Prime Two Echoes, we're gonna actually finally realistically get to the Dark World. It's gonna be fun. See you next time.